Texts dating back to antiquity described jaundice, the most striking symptom of hepatitis. Nothing was known about this jaundice, except that for centuries it was part and parcel of the fighting soldier's life, subjected to appalling hygiene conditions. In the middle of the 19th century, Czech Karl Rokitansky was the first to describe the hepatitis virus. Soon after, the United States was engulfed in civil war and soldiers were decimated by hepatitis. In four years, there were over 50,000 cases. Advances in combating the disease were made during the 20th century. During the First World War, the link between fecal matter and transmission of the disease was discovered. In the middle of the century, the first liver biopsy showed the damage it caused. And during World War II, Third Reich doctors used Germans as guinea pigs to prove that hepatitis could be of viral origin. At the beginning of the 1970s, the hepatitis A and B viruses were formally identified. Several years later, scientists observed that following blood transfusions, some patients became infected, not with the A or the B virus, but with a new form of hepatitis. With no great attempt at originality, they named the mysterious virus non-A, non-B hepatitis. In April 1989, non-A, non-B was identified and became known as hepatitis C virus, or HCV. It was known to travel via the bloodstream and therefore could be transmitted by blood transfusion. Towards the end of the 1990s, Blood products were at last more closely monitored, but numbers of people becoming infected continued to rise. The chief culprit, the sharing of contaminated needles among drug users. Since the 1990s, hepatitis C has been treated with a combination of a protein, called interferon, and an antiviral, ribavirin. But the cure rate is less than 50% and side effects are common and debilitating. The development at the end of 2013 of a new generation of treatments called DAA for direct acting antivirals was a minor revolution, but a revolution with an exorbitant price tag. In June 2014, France and 14 other European countries launched a campaign calling on a private laboratory to reduce their price. France was accorded a small discount of around 8%.